Hello. 2,000 years ago, the Romans carved lettering on stone using hammers and chisels. They gave us most of the alphabet that we use today, and some of us are still carving letters on stone in exactly the same way. Let me show you how. I'm going to carve a letter I. It's generally the first letter of the alphabet that you'll carve. It's a nice simple shape. I'm going to use uh, a chisel and a hammer. The hammer is called a dummy. I have my close-up glasses because I'm working fairly close to the stone and I need to be able to see all the fine detail. And a pair of safety goggles. You don't want a piece of limestone in your eye. Trust me, I've done that. Uh, so the first thing you do is mark a center line with the corner of the chisel. In from the serif, straight up through the center of the letter, and out through the top left serif, and gently to the end. Put in the other two serifs. It's quite a big letter, so I'll just go over that center line again. <clears throat> The center line is just as a kind of fire break. So when you start the first type of cut, which is chopping, I'm chopping away the bulk of the stone. When you chop, each chip will break off and stop at the center line. It won't carry on across the face of the letter. Take out a little bit of the terminal plane. You'll hear me talking about the various uh, parts of letters, the main stroke, the bowl, the counter, the terminal planes, the serifs, and so on. But I'll explain those as we go along. So there are only two kinds of cut, chopping and chasing. So this is chopping, which just removes most of the stone at about the right angle and then later we'll clean up the sides of the cut by chasing. In the bottom of the cut, this is called a V-cut letter. The two sides go together to form a V in the stone. And in the bottom of the cut, the angle is just about 90 degrees, like the corners of the chisel. And that just means you've got enough clearance. It's, some, it's just a fraction wider than 90 degrees. So you've got clearance for the corner of the chisel <clears throat> to, uh, to not mark the opposite face of the cut. So that's the chopping. I've chopped away most of the stone and the letter is basically there. But to clean up the insides, I'm going to chase. So starting from near the bottom, straight line, roll into the corner. And again, getting closer and closer to the line. And I'm taking off a really, really fine cut. You know, probably a half a millimetre or less each pass of the chisel.
here we are. That's... Most of the letter is done. I'll just tidy up the terminal plane. Make the serifs a little bit heavier out at the tip because these are quite large letters. They're about 45 millimeters high. So the serifs need to be visible. So this is High Moor Limestone from near Tadcaster in Yorkshire. In 1220 AD, when the monks needed some stone to build York Minster, they went to this quarry and the same quarry is still there, still supplying stone to York Minster today for repairs and uh, restoration. And that's where I bought this piece of stone. And that's your first letter, capital I. In this series of videos, I'll talk about all aspects of letter carving on stone. I'll put links down below for further reading. Feel free to get in touch.